The science tells us that we can expect more severe weather events and we can expect them more often. So these severe weather events create a havoc for our roads and for our rail. And we are obliged to be dependent on the southern states to resupply us with emergency food supplies. And this is untenable when we're looking into the long-term future. We need to be able to access our food closer to home. We're collaborating with the Queensland Government's Office of the Inspector General for Emergency Management. And they've set us up with an online platform called Basecamp. We would like to grow the momentum and invite you to be a part of our conversation on how we can move forward. In the Office of the Inspector General Emergency Management, we've had some great success with a platform called Basecamp. That platform is tremendously useful for any food cooperation networks that might emerge here, allowing people to swap ideas between communities and within communities. I see this project as tapping into the local community's knowledge around the food system that they work in every day and deal with every day and having a centralised portal of information where people can share the information and access it really quickly, particularly in times of natural disaster, is going to be a really important tool to have. The Food Contingency Project is an important one in that I don't recall anything like this having been undertaken before on such a large scale statewide. I think there are a lot of different moving parts to this that have existed for a long time but um, they haven't been brought together effectively before.